Welcome back to Upton Park, where the weather has sadly taken a turn for the worse. What a miserable summer we're having here. We are round the corner from Hay against Chisora. 30,000 people here, and the priority for a lot of them is to keep themselves dry. But don't worry, not a single person has left Upton Park. They want to see the action, and they are bopping in the rain. Let's have a chat to a fellow who actually didn't mind at all whether it rained or sh the sun shone. Snooker player Ronnie O'Sullivan with Sarah. Joining me now ringside is snooker legend Ronnie O'Sullivan. It's pretty atmospheric in here tonight, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. Fantastic atmosphere. And the rain just adds, adds to the atmosphere, I think. It's a little bit different to snooker, though, isn't it? Do you think you'd prefer something like this? It is in eight, really. You know, it's like, I know there's a lot more people, a lot more noise, but it's still small, still competitive, and it's like gladiatorial in a sort of way. A lot louder and a lot wetter here tonight, isn't it? But we're gearing up for the big fight of the night. Who's going to win, in your opinion, Ronnie? Um, I think it's pretty evenly match, really. But obviously, I think you have to say David Hay would be a slight favourite, more experienced, been in much more bigger fights. But then the other fellas, you know, a little bit of um, can come out and hit with one punch and win it. You know, he's quite an aggressive fighter, but I think it's going to be good. Do you think David Hay then on points? I think David Hay in seven rounds, seven or eight rounds. Seven round stoppage, that's, my, that's your that's, prediction. That's my guess and prediction, yeah. So do you enjoy boxing? Boxing's one of my favourite sports, yeah. I like watching Manny Pacquiao, uh, Mayweather, all the big fights, the exciting fighters, really. And I think tonight you've got a great contrast to South so I think it'll be quite exciting. Did you never see yourself as a boxer? Oh, I don't know. I don't, well, no, not really. I'm a bit, a bit of a scaredy cat, really. Concentration is more your uh, bonus, isn't it? Yeah, I think snooker is what I enjoy doing as well. Yeah, but maybe boxing would have been a better career path. You just don't know. So these boxers will have to concentrate here tonight, won't they? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they're they're well experienced. It's, it's their job. They've been doing it for years, so I'm, I'm sure they're going to entertain and put on a good fight for the crowd. Well, seventh round is Ronnie O'Sullivan's prediction. Thank you very don't much, Ronnie. Money on it. Thanks very much indeed, Ronnie, and thank you down there, Sarah. They will not win any fashion prizes, but they are very effective are those Max down there. The fighters on their way very shortly. Let's get the final thoughts, shall we, on what we might just see. Uh, Steve Bunce, I think the weather was pretty similar 19 years ago when Bruno fought Lennox Lewis, wasn't it? But uh, we don't want to talk about that. Just give us, take a deep breath, your final thoughts about this one in front of us. The weather was far worse that night, I can assure you. Tonight, I think it's all down to what happens in the first round, not even the first two rounds, the first round. We'll see David Hayes' intent. If it's the box, if it's the run, if it's the repeat the value of performance or what he tried to implement against Vladimir, we're going to be in for a long night and Derek Chisora is going to be in for a long night. If David Hay genuinely comes down off the front foot and gets there, which he could do because he thinks it's an easy fight, never forget that, then I think we're in for a terrific fight and anything can happen if this goes five or six rounds. Anything. Nathan Cleverly. I think Hay gets off to a positive start. I think it's going to be a fight of two halves. David Hay in the first half of the fight, Chisora takes over in the second half of the fight. I think it's going to be a close fight on points. OK, and the last word to the uh, reigning British and Commonwealth heavyweight champion about a heavyweight fight, David Price. On you go, David. It's going to be an exciting fight regardless because you're going to be glued to the fight. Whether David Hay goes on the back foot, whether he goes in for the fight, you're not going to be able to take your eye off the, off the, off the ring. For me, I'm going to go my gut feeling from the beginning, David Hay inside the distance. I just hope it's a clean fight and no, you know, I don't, don't hope the emotions don't get too involved during the fight. I hope it's a clean fight. The referee doesn't have much to do and may the best man win. May the best man win. It's wet at Upton Park, but we are ready. They say you are what you eat, and you know, he's spent the last 10 years eating. He's like my school that I had all night from the outside, but inside it was just My motivation is beating the hell out of Derek Chisora. That's all the motivation I need. The more heart than him and his whole camp. If he does what he did against Vitali, he'll get knocked out in two rounds maximum. Something personal. 
just going to whoop it. I know he's dumb, but he's not dumb enough to think he can outbox me. There ain't going to be another fight like this for a while. I definitely believe he's got a screw loose. I'm going to be all over that boy. He ain't going to know what he is. He'll get knocked out. He'll get knocked out. No matter what he does, he'll get knocked out. It's about two guys who dislike each other. You want to beat the shit out of each other. Plain and simple. One hell of a fight. Come on, Derek, come at me. Come at me. And here comes Del Boy. Here comes Derek Chisora. Massive underdog. Big outsider. And looking to upset the odds at Upton Park. He has promised to finish David Hay. David Hay coming back after a year out of the ring. Imposing figure, a controversial figure. We await the arrival in front of 30,000 people at Upton Park. And he will be greeted by the best master of ceremonies in the business. The hairs will rise on the back of his neck when he hears Mr. Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get this party started! Coming to the ring, folks, Derek Delbert-Tisora! of the gladiator who is Derek Chisora. It's been a fight you haven't been able to take your eyes off so far as the build-up's been concerned. Chisora believes that he has Hayes' number. Controversial, in some quarters reviled, and here he is at Upton Park, Derek Chisora. As ever masked, I wonder what emotions are now going through his head. He said, David Hay has no bottle. He will be huffing, puffing and crying. And you can hear it is what might best be described as a mixed reception for Derek Chisora. And now, making his entrance to the ring, David Hamilton! known to play the odd trick with his entrances, keep people waiting. I wonder if David Hayes is going to be straight out tonight, Paul. I said when people were asking me what time they thought the entrance was going to be, 
who knows? You know, you never know with David Hay what time he's going to come to the ring. Is this going to be his redemption hour, I wonder? Or is he going to find that Derek Chisora can maybe do what Steve Collins did to Chris Eubank all those years ago and make him fight out of his comfort zone, make him fight three minutes around? Well, we will see. Derek Chisora waits patiently and still no sign of hey. He likes to keep everyone waiting. for dramatic effects, maybe. Well, those are his own uh, Jim, Jim. bodyguards. And here he comes. Is that all right, mate? Gloved up and ready to go. <laughs> the former Good champion stuff. of the I, world. I, 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 Cheers around the crowd as they see the, the image crowd. of David Hay on the huge screen in the corner of the stadium here at Upton Park. The rain still falls, but mercifully it's eased up a little bit from the torrential crowd cloud burst that we had a few minutes ago. And David Hay will now be met by a wall of noise as he steps out of the tunnel here at Upton Park and ready for the biggest heavyweight fight of the year so far. It's massive, it's, it's a huge occasion. Everyone's talking about it for whatever reasons, but they're talking about it and they're here. There's 30,000 people here in soaking wet conditions in the rain, and they're still here supporting and, and watching. A fight born out of the, let's be frank about it, disgraceful scenes over in Germany. But look at the crowd that's turned up, that tells you the story. Whatever the morals, you may argue about it, you may discuss it, some people like it, some people don't, but it is, in every sense, a major event. And here comes the haymaker. His ears look at me last. He looks ready for business, to be fair, he doesn't look as, as smiling as he usually is. He's, he's normally smiling walking to the ring. The smile doesn't seem to be there, he seems to, like, like, seems to look like he means business, and we'll only know when the first bell goes, because the previous fight we've seen David Hay, saying he's going to come out and just come to a totally different game plan than what he's been saying he's going to do weeks before the fight. He said tonight he's coming for war, so we hope to see him. He's the lightest he's been as a heavyweight, just 15 stone. That's the sort of weight that Muhammad Ali was back in his prime. And David Hay says that he's had the best preparation that he's had for any fight since he fought Enzo Macronelli in that big cruiserweight title fight at the O2 Arena. Well, here he is. And the cheers of the crowd tell you that he is very much the Upton Park favourite, David Hay against Derek Chisora. And the next voice you'll hear in just a moment or two, giving it the big build-up in the best way possible, will be Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Upton Park, London, England. This is Licensed to Thrill. World-class professional heavyweight fighting, all brought to you by Box Nation in association with Haymaker Boxing, sponsored by The Sun, associate sponsor, Raynham Steel. This is the main event of the evening. Scheduled for 10 three-minute rounds for the vacant WBO, WBA International Heavyweight Championship. Sanctioned by the FLB President Pierre Bach, Secretary Tony Panagiri, UK representative Bruce Baker, the World Boxing Organization President Francisco Paco Balcarcel, Supervisor for the WBO from the USA John Duggan, the World Boxing Association President Gilberto Mendoza, Supervisor for the WBA from Canada George Martinez. At ringside, the three judges scoring on the 10 point system from South Africa and the Boxing Hall of Fame Stanley Christodoulou from England, Paul Thomas. Also from England, Mickey Van. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, your referee from Puerto Rico, Luis Pabon. And now, the officials are ready, the fighters. Already, 
Boxing fans, are you ready? London, England, are you ready? For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get her. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing rainbow multicolors, official weight, 247 pounds or 17 stone, 9 pounds. His professional record, 15 victories, including 9 knockouts with 3 defeats. From London, England, former British and Commonwealth heavyweight champion, Derek Delbo. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing Union Jack colors, officially weighing 210 pounds for 15 stone. As a professional, 25 victories, including 23 knockouts with two defeats and two world titles. From London, England, the former cruiserweight world champion and former heavyweight champion of the world, David. Okay, guys, I give you introduction in the dressing room. They have an team match. Okay, good luck. I got pleasure. The touch of gloves was perfunctory. It will be very much more meaningful now. The talking over. The fight now for real. I've never seen David Hay look so fired up. Never seen him without the smirk on his face, and he looks like he's really, really gonna come out and come steaming out like he's promised. Ten rounds, this first round could be absolutely key. Hay said that he could knock Chisora out in this very first round. A £20,000 bet wagered said that it won't happen. Hay trying to start fast. Oh, good left hand from Chisora. And almost lifting Hay off his feet. Chisora trying to keep the tight guard. Likes to try and bob and weave his way in, put the pressure on in the manner of his hero, Joe Frazier. You see the size difference as well straight away. There's a lot of, a lot of height, weight and sheer size advantage for Chisora. Zora keeping defences tight. If he's got to win this one, surely he's got to get in close and try and work the body of Hay, who has his protective guard pulled up very high. Fast hands from Hay, the former champion. Well, Chisora certainly not being phased by the atmosphere, I sense. No, and Hay throwing a lot of shots. He doesn't normally throw this many shots, he's, he's being forced to throw them by, by Derek constantly coming forward. There are more shots in this first round than he did in about six against Valoet. David's not even trying to make Chisora miss, he, he's, he's just unloading when Derek's coming in and just trying to land first. of concentration on David Hay's face. Hay, who, as we know, has not got a great chin, but has terrific athleticism and speed.
Martin Witherspoon last night was saying that Chisora has got to be more selective with the shots that he throws than at times in the past. But I think Chisora has certainly improved enormously in the last year and that experience against Vitaly Klitschko will be a big one and he wasn't yeah. too far away with that attempt at big overhand chopping right. I think what he's had to learn as well from the Klitschko fight is that he can't afford to let Hay get into a rhythm and stack up rounds early on. Yeah, it was the experience that lost Derek the fight against against Klitschko and he needs to just keep making David Hay work. David Hay's working very hard but it's a Hay round for me but he, he worked hard to win that round. Interesting opening round. But no bombs from Hay in any sense, disconcerting Derek Chisora. In the corner now yeah, with his trainer Don there. Charles. Yeah. He's loading up, that's good, he's loading up, yeah. Just tuck up like you are. Tuck, you hear me? Mm -hmm. Tuck up, let him miss, miss, yeah. Watch that left, that, that left will time it better. Faint, yeah. faint, then throw it. That's right. Yeah? Shield. You good? Yeah. Cross arm when you're going in, keep your eye on him. You understand? Yeah. Stay on him. Don't yeah. give him that room. And bang that jab in his chest, okay? You good? Yeah, the other voice in that corner was. Keep giving nothing away, guys. This is another move, yeah. Come on! Time is so down on the side. Second down! Well, a fascinating opening round. He had to give it to David Hay, yeah. but Derek Chisora, you could hear that they were satisfied in that corner with the game plan. Yeah, and they were satisfied with the fact that they're making David Hay work and making him miss, or making him just hit elbows and gloves, and that, that would be the plan for Chisora, to make Hay miss, make him try and punch himself out and come on strong down the stretch. Chisora just trying to walk Hay down. Hay with big question marks on occasion about his stammer in the past as well. Now, this is where Chisora wants him, leaning on, making that 37-pound weight advantage, if you want to call it that, maybe tell. It is only an advantage if you use it, and Chisora's got to use it. He's got to keep coming forward like this, but keep tight all the time, blocking with elbows and gloves. He has that nice cross-arm defence, but just always make David Hay wait. That's the key for, for Derek Chisora. That's a good right hand from Hay. Big shot, and he knows that Chisora felt the weight of that. May have been the best punch of the fight so far, that one from Hay, that right hand. Yeah, nice, and he, he's trying to land big singles now. Try for the right up a good straight after that, and it, it just missed. Chisora's got to keep coming forward, though, got to get into his territory. He's able to fight at range here, which is where he wants to be. He's not a good in-fighter, but if he can fight at range like this, it's Hayes' game. Well, Chisora walked him down, got into range, and then wasn't throwing. Yep, it's OK getting there, but when you get there, you've got to do something. You've got to make sure that you clock the points up. again attempting yeah. to land he's trying to chop it down really come down maybe even the top of the head you can see that something he've worked on i hear don charles saying when you get close let it go and it, it must only be the one shot that they're trying for hey comes low when he when he defends and when he ducks and dives he comes really low so maybe that's maybe that's the shot that they're working on puerto rican referee luis pebble Tight defence from Chisora, the attempted uppercut taken on the arms. Now Chisora's into range, and you see he's trying to get space to land that overhand right once more. Really chop and shot when it comes through then, you know, so steep and so coming down on, onto David Hay's head. Chisora not really a single one-punch knockout artist in the sense that Hay is, but he does have a cast-iron chin. One landed after the bell by Hay, and words exchanged and a bit of feeling. <laughs> it's starting off. Crowd respond to that as well, they saw it. Two rounds gone, two rounds to this guy. There's the right hand. That 
was the super slow motion replay, but it was delivered with real speed. Yeah, that, that, was, the, that was the best right hand of the fight there, was just landed. I hope it shows you the slow motion of Derek Chisora trying to land that really choppy right hand. So steep when he comes in, you'll yeah, twitch him up. It, it's definitely something that, that he's worked on because you don't throw shots like that. Different things okay, okay. Okay. Get those reactions going. Right. Again. Adam Booth looks happy. You can hear Adam Booth asking for reactions, try and get reactions, and Adam Booth and David Hay and George Groves, that's the way they fight, you know, they, they, they draw you on, very clever the way they do it. They make you make your mistakes and then they counter. David Hay, if you've been living on Mars, he's the guy on the left-hand side of the picture. Chisora finding the target, and Hay just wanting to tie him up. Left hand, I think, got through. It was kind of the perceived wisdom that the early stages of this fight would be Hayes. But Chisora in this third round, it's just starting to get into range a little bit more. Lovely, sharp right hand from Hay. Great hand speed yeah. and accuracy. Bit of blood from David Day's nose, so something is getting on from Chisore. Chisore went down against Mock, against Mormek, against Thompson, against Barrett. Is he going to be called to be tested once more? That chin by Derek Chisore. Smile from Hay. Almost a, a leer as he moved away onto the back foot. Starting to warm up this one a bit, you sense? Yeah. It's just, Chisora's just not making Hay work enough for me, and Hay's controlling everything on his back foot, he's landing, he's not. He's staying tight, he's not getting caught, he's boxing well. Nice uppercut inside from Hay. Chisora thought he'd got him tied up, caught him unawares. Chisora just trying to walk him down again, get in range. You can see him setting himself for that right hand every time yeah it, it really is it seems like he's only really trying to one thing early on and i suppose that'll change as the fight goes on when the game plan kicks in but you know for, for me chisora has got to drag david Day into the latter rounds and you can see hayes i'm not saying he's tired by any means but you know you can see him starting to breathe his mouth starting to drop he's starting to open and close it fast and you can see it's taking its toll this is a high pace fight they certainly le learned, though, Hay, from that day back in September 2004 when Carl Thompson took him to task, and Hay just really blew out. Stamina ran out, and Thompson, such a hard fighter, had his measure, but he's a better man now. Yeah, I think he definitely learned his lesson from that. You know, that was, that was a, a, a painful lesson to learn, but he learned it nonetheless. Chisora getting into range. Now they go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Look at this. Good shot from Chisora. All after the bell, John, we didn't even hear it. The bell you couldn't hear no. it, absolute bedlam. People are standing up all around, and after the bell went, Hay was caught flush by a left hook. Yeah, we never even heard it, the referees just asked the timekeeper to ring it loud the next round, we, we couldn't even hear that bell, and we're sitting literally on top of the ring. How much louder could you ring a bell? You ring a bell and that's it. Yeah. I don't know if David, they switched off or not, or Chisora did then and maybe come back with his own. That was that left hand after the bell, and at the exchange, that was the hardest. Yeah, he didn't quite turn it in enough, but I think the people on the other side of the ring must have heard the bell, because we certainly didn't. Hayes looking not too happy in that corner, and I think that has had an effect. The eyes have cleared now, but just for a few seconds, he looked distinctly worried, and he's gassed. Yeah, he's blowing, Johnny, he definitely is blowing in that corner, you know, you can see it. You can see it's taking a toll on him, but as I said before, it's a very, it's a high-paced fight, and David Day is being made to punch, a punch, a punch, and Derek Chisora is just keeping to come forward, and he's absorbing what David Day is given. Who did he score that third round to, Paul? I still had to give it to David Day. He still controls it for me. So three, three rounds to to, to nil for um, David Day against Derek Chisora. But as they come into the fourth, Chisora believes. Uh, I said about that uh, protective guard being pulled up high, ridiculously high, it was somewhere up over the ribcage. 
and he's sending him off to a neutral corner and pulling it down before the action begins. Now, was Hay hurt by that left hand at the end of the third? I thought he was. Referee a little bit on Chisora's case in the opening seconds of this fourth. There's the right hand from Chisora. Hay, though, takes it well. The reaction of the crowd was astonishing when Chisora landed that left hand all around the stadium. People sprang to their feet. Oh, big right hand again from Chisora. Both of them now landed. And hey. Both of them landed really well there, John. And Chisora onto the back foot almost for the first time and inviting Hay in, which has to be stupid. Yeah, Chisora doesn't want to be there. You're not used to being on the ropes, you don't want to be there with someone like David Hay. Now right. here comes Hay trying to unload. Hay, when he unloads, is an explosive finish and an explosive punch. You don't want to be on them ropes. How badly hurt, how badly stung was Chisora this time in the fourth round. Oh, big right hand from Chisora now. But Hay again takes it well. Can't take your eyes off this. Good left, Good left hand from Hay, lovely punch. Chisora wants to be a bit careful because he's trying that hard to turn the right hand in so much that it's almost looking like a slap, like he's, he's stamping his hand down. Two good jabs from Chisora. Hay with the chiselled physique. Seemingly not an ounce of fat on it. Softer, fleshier and 37 pounds heavier, Chisora. Taken on the gloves and arms of Chisora. You'd think all the way in the build up to this, it was going to be the other way. Derek Chisora back and David Day onto the ropes when they get inside the clinch. David Day's wasted a lot of a lot of energy by pushing Derek Chisora back to the ropes. He doesn't need to do that. Well, it's been another round for Hay. Definitely bought some good, good exchanges in that round. Taking the pattern that many people expected at the moment. If Hay can box his way and stay away from Chisora, he's surely four rounds up. It's fight. let's hear what Adam say. That's a terrific uppercut yeah. from Hay, lovely shot. Yeah, then a good right down return from, from Chisora. Lovely uppercut inside from David Day to, to start the exchange off and then he had the first and the last say in the exchange as well. Great shot from Hay. Lovely, well-timed, sneaky uppercut. Chisora just not able to land the clean shot he wanted there. You see what I mean about that right hand? He's, he's, he must have trained so hard and so long trying to chop it down. That, he needed the straight right hand then, it didn't come. Into the fifth, Chisora a little bit slow to get off his stool. Nathan Cleverly, who's been sparring Chisora, said if he gets through the first five rounds, then Chisora will come on strong later in the fight. Good footwork again from Hay, making... Most of those big swings from Chisora, at least only land as glancing blows. <laughs> right hand from Hay got through, but he looked a little bit disorganised as he went back towards the ropes. I think Chisora was a bit disorganised as well, he, he didn't know whether to go south or orthodox and trying to land, land the right hand. At the moment, the boxing Good class shot. of Hay is prevailing. Lovely right hand and then slipping the attempted counter. And 
the big right from Hay. Just good stuff from David Hay. Again, Hay taking the advantage inside and using his body weight and his strength to push his order back, which is surprising. None of us really expected that. Zora getting in with the left to the body, but he's going to be taking the energy, sapping the energy of both men. This is where what, what they say pre-fight really counts for those people watching in and trying to judge the fight, because if David Day can do this and maintain his work rate for 10 rounds, then he, he wins the fight clearly, but it's whether he he, he does what we, we all expected him to do and slow down, and Chizora take over late. Chizora, we saw against Vitaly Klitschko, most emphatically on that occasion, did go 12 rounds. Frank Warren getting animated at ringside, wanting Chizora to work inside. Oh, big left oh, hand and right! Tremendous shot from Hay! Left to right hand, and, hand, and Chizora down in the fifth! Wonderful left hook that was from David Hay. Blurring hand speed, and Chisora touches down. Lovely shot, and David Hay's an exceptional finisher. Chisora holding on with desperation now. He's got one of the best chins in the business, Ten but he couldn't left stand the up. Round. And he's got again. I don't think he's going to get up this time. The, the counts of six and seven and eight, he has! He's waking up! He stopped it! He stopped the fight! It's all over! And the great grudge match has been won by David Hay by stoppage! A quite brilliant left hook, followed by the right hand. That was the first knockdown. And when it came again, Chisora was out. Great finish. Someone so durable like Derek Chisora to go down the way he did and to, to be stopped the way he did. It just shows, you know, you, you really doesn't matter how good your chin is. If you get it there, but with the right shot at the right time, you're going to go. And that was an exceptional finish. Well, David Hayes salutes his public. The fans celebrate, David Hay celebrates. And Derek Chisora is getting a little bit of med medical treatment in his corner. I think he's OK. Paramedics are in there making absolutely sure. But the shots that took him out, the first knockdown, well, that was just terrific stuff from David Hay. Lovely shot, really explosive power. That's the thing with David Hay. He hasn't just got the power, he's got the explosiveness that goes with it, the speed that makes it explosive. Mm -hmm. When you've got that speed and the power together, you know, that, that, that is the outcome, that's the result. Paul, there are German commentators at ringside. Huge interest over in Germany in this contest. If Derek Chisora had won, he'd have walked into a fight against Vladimir Klitschko. Yeah. I'm pretty sure of that. But David Hay now will send a message out to Vitali. You couldn't get rid of Derek Chisora in 12 rounds, and I have taken him out. Yep, yeah, and... That, that was the logical fight to make, you know, if, if if Derek was to win the fight, then the fight with Vladimir is there, the personal history. So now David Day has won, there's no reason why there shouldn't be a fight with Vitaly Klitschko. Well, let's take a look at the punches that he was able to find. There's the left hand and there's the right. Right on the chin, not on stopping it whatsoever. You know, perfect, right on the button. He was going off that, the right hand just, just helped him over. Lovely shot, so fast, so sharp, and so explosive. The left hand pull was an absolute cracker. And the, then when the yeah. second knockdown came, well... Yeah. The right was, hand just, just helped him on his way, yeah. The left hook was a peach, right on the chin, perfect parallel to the floor elbow, right on the button. Here's the second knockdown. Is all to be brave trying to fight, but when you when you're disorientated, there's no way you're gonna uh, fight. Great three finish. right hooks, two left, and the, all of them went through pretty much unanswered to the head. And David Hay, so far as Britain is concerned, has proved tonight that he remains top of the tree over here.
and he has proved himself to be the superior man in the great grudge match and those were the punches that ended it and with that Chisora knew that he was beaten and Good the two of them now are hugging in the ring a lot of bad feeling and they hug all the bad blood is over well, I'm glad to see that I am very much so we needed that boxing needed that you know it's a sport these two lads are, are just beating each other up and now that you know they're shaking hands and the hugging and there's there's the rest of the unfinished business as well so you know it's a boxing it's, it's sport it's a boxing match and that's that it's been a great event a great occasion a dramatic fight and the class and the speed of hay ultimately was too much for Derek Chisora. I think he surprised him with his sheer physical strength as well. Definitely, it was now a good pace as well. Right. So, David Hay, the winner, and these will be the words that he loves to hear from Michael Buffer. This contest comes to an end at two minutes, 59 seconds, round number five. The winner by knockout victory, and now the WBO, WBA International Heavyweight Champion, David Kidmaker! Derek Chisora sportingly applauds the moment. Upton Park celebrates, and David Hay, he's back and he will be looking for the clinch goes once more. Vitali is very much on his radar. Thank you, John. John Rawling and the Paul Smith talking you through a dramatic five rounds of heavyweight boxing in the rain at Upton Park in East London. The haymaker took a year out, but he is back and winning every round and ending it in absolutely dramatic fashion with some devastating hitting as well. And great to see at the end there, the two fighters embracing. I'm delighted, I am delighted that they did that, and I'm delighted that uh, it has ended the way it has. No doubt about this fella. Let's bring in uh, Steve Bunce, first of all, who was down at ringside. Steve, give us your views. Well, first of all, some of the punches that were landed for on both of those fighters were stunning. And the final flurry from David was incredible. The thing that Derek Chisora got up not just once, but twice. Jim, I've been ringside for early odd years, hundreds of times in big fights. I was six foot from the canvas. You could feel it, you could feel the ground move. It was quite frightening in that ring. Okay, let's get down and get to, uh, get the interviews. Um, on you go, Alex, who have you got? You got, you got the haymaker. Well, I'll finish, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm sure you want to hear a quick word from the haymaker. Uh, David, what do you remember about the finish? Um, the finish, um, I, could, I, could, I can tell you, Derek Chisora has one of the best chins, if not the best chins I've ever hit in my life. Because I was hitting him with shots that would normally put people away, and he was smiling at them, he was eating them. You know, I have to say, Derek Chisora is a great fighter. I didn't give him much respect before the fight, because I hadn't really tasted it inside there, but after, Doing, this, doing these rounds with him, I can tell you, he'll be champion one day, no doubt about it. He gave you a right good workout, didn't he? He did, he gave me a lot harder work than I anticipated. I thought that fight would go a couple of rounds because I was, my training had gone so well. But, you know, he took, I had to dig deep in there. Derek hit me with some good shots and I had to do what you know, great, great fighters do and find a way to win. You've tasted some amazing atmospheres around the world. What about this? This is the best atmosphere I've ever been in in my life. I'd like to thank each and every a boxing fan who came out. Whether you're here to support me, Derek, or someone on the undercard, I really appreciate your support because it made this one of the best British uh, boxing matches for him in recent, in recent years. It wouldn't be boxing if there wasn't some aggro beforehand, but shaking hands afterwards, there was a really sporting hug after. <laughs> there was a lot of beef beforehand. You know, everyone knows what's going on, but we went in there, we both laid it on the line, put our lives on the line for everyone's entertainment. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that Derek's healthy now. And, and you know, I, I believe he's going to go on to do great things in boxing. Derek, you promised us a good fight. It was certainly that for as long as it lasted. Oh, yeah. First of all, I have to say congratulations to David. And uh, I want to thank Frank and Luxembourg Ward for making this happen. Uh, now I owe David A 20 grand. Goes to charity. <laughs> yeah, for charity. Yes, um, Afro-Caribbean Leukemia Trust, a great charity. 
Uh, David, there was talk about the winner of this being in line maybe to fight Vitaly Klitschko. Of course, uh, that's an opponent that Derek went 12 rounds with uh, back in February. What sort of message have you sent out tonight? I think that's a very scary message. Um, I'd be very surprised if Vitaly Klitschko would want to fight me now after seeing the performance I, I put on tonight. Um, I'll, I'm guarantee he's going to fight some, some chump no one's ever heard of and then try and retire and become a politician or something. But if he wants to give the world a great fight, you know, I'm here, I'm here, I'm ready, to, I'm ready to go, ready to win that heavyweight title back. And Derek, for the words, um, for you, you're going to have a good rest now, what next? Oh yeah, you know, you know I don't like resting, you know, uh, you know, uh, it was a great fight, I enjoyed it, you know, I got caught with a, I don't even know what shot it was, but it was a great shot, I got up, my first time in my career going on the canvas, but you know what, this is boxing, there has to be one winner, one loser, and uh, I drew the short, the short stick today, so uh, I'll be back. Great sport. Ladies and gentlemen, give your appreciation for both fighters, please. Well done in there, Alex, and uh, great to see the two fighters respecting each other at the end of the prolonged uh, war of words. That is exactly the way it should be. Derek Chisora admitting he lost it to a better man, and uh, David Hay saying David that uh, Chisora will be a world champion one day he promised the best haymaker we had ever seen he wasn't far short of that and as steve bunt said the ferocity of those rounds was just astonishing to the sounds of land of uh, hope and glory. Uh, just like to make one point as well to everyone who said this was going to be a, a freak show and a bit of a circus. This has been an impeccably organized sporting occasion, one or two inevitable scuffles that we saw in the crowd, but what else do you expect with 30,000 people here? But this has been a proper sporting event and you could not take your eyes off it for a second. Nathan Cleverly. Take a deep breath and give us your thoughts on, on an absolutely thrilling few rounds. Everyone would have wished it had gone a bit further, wouldn't we? Yeah, it was, it was an intriguing first, uh, what was it, five or six rounds, because he was, he was waiting for something to happen. David Hay was throwing big bombs from Bell 1. Uh, Chisora kept coming forward, and that was the, the problem for Chisora, trying to get through that first half of the fight. And David Hay's power in the end was, it was too much for him, too explosive. And uh, when he did get inside, he, he found it hard to get to David Hay as well, didn't he? Well, well that's where David Hay was clever. Chisora got in, found himself inside a lot of the time, but David would just hold and wait for the ref to break them up, and then he'd have his distance again. So right, I see, I'll talk to you in just a moment. Let's go back to the ring uh, and have a word with Adam Booth, um, with uh, David Hay's trainer. Yeah, very much the mastermind behind it all. Adam, they made you sweat. How much did that go to plan? Um, always prepared for a rough fight uh, Derek actually caught me out because at the end of the second round I said to David he's not as fast as we planned he would be um, and then he came out in the third round and actually picked up his speed so that was his plan to sort of set a low tempo um, but David had a lot of desire to actually have a fight uh, and so the plan was to let it, we always knew that David would land his shots first but then to close him in quickly sometimes he was pulling away and getting caught with shots and then, and then decided just to, just to have a shootout with the fella because he always he knows that as, as long as someone's punching at him they're going to give him a target and he is so heavy handed he really is um, and he knows that as soon as he catches someone that they're going to go there were one or two of those close up exchanges where you thought that, that there was an element of lottery about it that he didn't need to do that David was he giving you some, some kittens in there yeah I said that, you know he was supposed to close him up tight because I knew the first half of the fight was when Derek was going to try and try and sort of drain his tank a little bit but uh you know, as he's always wanting to sometimes, he decided that... Well, he must have felt something as well. He must have felt something on the inside that made him think, I'm staying here. And yet, ironically, it was one of those firefights that brought about the finish. Yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. When someone's throwing at you, they're leaving their target open, and that's what David was looking for. He wanted, to, he wanted the guy to let his hands go so he could nail him first. 
Uh, that's, there's spinning a coin sometimes, but when you have more speed, it goes in your favour. Now, everyone's next question is, can we get David Hay and Vitaly Klitschko in a ring? How, how possible is that? I, I honestly don't know. You know, we, we, we discussed terms and they sent us a contract and, and, and what I saw in the contract wasn't really what I remember discussing. And, uh, and I don't know, you know, Vitaly's got, uh, you know, he's getting old, he's got a political life, he's had a great career. And I don't know if they really want him in there with someone that's, that's quick and can bang. Um, like I said, I was happy last year when he's retired. I'm happy now he's won this fight. I don't know. And to be honest, I'm easy either way. You were one of the people who were almost wanted him to stay retired. He's come back with a dangling carrot and this opportunity presented itself. If not Vitaly Klitschko, is there anything else out there for David Hay in your eyes? No, I don't think so. No. No, he said that he would come back and fight Klitschko and then, and then Derek and David had that beef. This is the place to settle it. They've settled it. If it's not a Klitschko, no, he's not interested. The Dark Lord. Understanding. The Dark Lord rides again. Pardon? The Dark Lord rides again. <laughs> no, I'm going to go home and I'm going to have a nice sleep. <laughs> sleep well. Well done. Thank you. Job well done. Uh, thanks, Alex. And to Adam Booth as well. So it is Klitschko or nobody uh, for, for, for David Hay. Let's have a word with Pricey, who's been sitting here very patiently watching uh, two heavyweights slug it up uh, up there. I mean, that it was a slug fest, wasn't it, from the first bell? There was, uh, I think, dear old Reg Guthrie, you say, no scouting missions in this one. Oh, and, and that's what I expected. I expected David A to come out and want to redeem himself from his last performance, and I, and I think he did with that performance. The finish, I don't think I've seen a finish like that for a long time because it four clean punches landed, and the last one landed clear on the chin of uh, Derek Chisor, and they put him down. But it, the first knockdown as well, the left hand, which landed, he, he kind of switched into a southpaw stance, which I've seen him practice in the gym a few times. I don't think it's come off on anyone before, and what a night for it to come off. That was what uh, he said would happen, too much speed, too much power. The speed kills, that's, that's the saying goes, and, and it does, and, which is why I backed A inside the distance, because although Derek Chisora obviously came to fight, which mm. we knew he would, and you could see the strength of Derek Chisora, he's a strong man and he's going to give anyone an argument, but if someone's got the speed to land a clean shot on, on another heavyweight's chin, it doesn't matter how heavy they are. If they've got speed and explosions like David Day, they're going to hit the canvas. Just to say, that's the first time that uh, Derek Chisora has ever visited the canvas uh, as a professional. One fella um, who tipped Chisora to cause an upset here is with Alex in the middle of the ring. It's Frank Warren. Yeah, Frank Warren, of course, Derek Chisora's manager, but he's a boxing fan as well. And as a boxing fan, Frank, that was some night. I thought it was a great heavyweight fight. You know, um, Derek gave his all. He just, to me, just couldn't get off. He couldn't get his jabs going, weren't letting his shots go. And you can't take it away from David Hay. And I've been a big critic, critic of him in the past. You can't take it away. He, showed, he toughed it out there tonight. He, he, he showed speed. You could see what he was all about when he got into the ring. I see he had a pair of trainers on rather than boxing boots. And I thought to myself, you know, that, that's, that's what we're going to see tonight, a lot of speed. And I just thought he really, really did put it together well. And, uh, you know, Derek tried. Derek called, Derek, uh, called I think, uh, David in the second round with a really good shot. The bell went. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, David Hay fought, you know, he deserved it. He deserved uh, to win the fight and won it in great style.